Hey, hello everyone, Action News Jacks. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burr is here from the CBS 47 and Fox 30 First Alert Weather Center or the studio. I'm gonna show you around the studio, the weather center, and what's going on here. My camera person is a meteorologist in the First Alert Weather Center, Corey Sima. Say hello, Corey. Hey guys, can't flip the camera, don't know why not. <laughs> and anyway. We, we also have, of course, uh, Garrett Beatenbaugh, our daily morning meteorologist. And Alyssa Pedic is our weekend evening meteorologist, and Corey, the weekend morning meteorologist, but you'll also see them many other times throughout the day, and of course, during any storm coverage that we might have. This video was designed for and requested by Victory Christian Academy. So I want to shout out to those folks and those kiddos and teachers, but anybody might be using this video because it comes in handy these days when, of course, during the pandemic, we can't get to the students and the schools like we used to. We can use Zoom and other virtual um, platforms, but this kind of an interesting way and a request for us to check out what we do in the Weather Center and how we do it and why we do it. This is the Weather Center right here. Now, meteorology is essentially a four-year degree. You study a lot of weather. It's a lot of math and science, too. So as you get older and if you're interested in the world of weather, you want to really focus on the science and the math. And in the First Alert Weather Center, we can see we have a lot of computers as well. These are graphics computers in this particular one. This is a news computer here. We also get a lot of our weather information. Another graphics computer that's redundant so that we have a more than one system to work with at the same time and get stuff done. This is a certain kind of radar that we have. It's called the GR2 Analyst. We call it the First Alert Storm Analyst. And this really helps us zoom in on storms when they're occurring. Right now, no storms are out there on First Alert Doppler HD or the GR2 Analyst. And I'll talk more about First Alert Doppler HD in a minute. But this is a really important instrument and tool in our First Alert Weather Center, especially when and if there's severe weather and storms. These monitors just show what's in our weather computer so we know exactly what we're looking at and what we're going to put together for our shows, which we all do by ourselves. So we, as meteorologists, do our own forecast. We do try to, try to keep it consistent and pass from one meteorologist to the next one. We also build all of our own graphics. All the shows are ours. All the stuff that's online in our app is from ours as well. It's our meteorologist doing the forecasting. And this is part of our SkyCam network. I say part because we have about six or seven cameras. But in the upper left-hand camera is Riverside in downtown Jacksonville. The upper right-hand corner is beautiful Jack's Beach. This is St. Augustine. We have it zoomed in a little bit to the St. Augustine Lighthouse. And this is the International Airport on the north side of Jacksonville. We also have a camera at Orange Park, St. Augustine Beach, and Jekyll Island in Georgia, as well as downtown. And this is the wider view of our Jack's Beach camera, which of course, during the pandemic, is only open certain hours and right now is closed. So this is the First Alert Weather Center, kind of in a nutshell. Then we move out to the what we call the island, the First Alert Weather Island. And here we have access to all of our computers. Uh, we just have a switch to flip here and type in, and we can be on any other of those computers that I just showed you in the Weather Center, which is really important when there's breaking weather and we're on live on the air or maybe doing continuous storm coverage, whether it's thunderstorms or hurricanes, uh, whatever the case might be, we can have access to virtually everything right here, which is really handy and really important. And then I've got a big monitor right behind me that can show you, we can tell you exactly what we're tracking, what we're showing. I told you I'd tell you a little bit more about First Alert Doppler HD. Well, this is it. This is the radar. It shows us where it's raining. There's not anything out there right now. It's not showing anything. So what's that mean? It's really quite simple. It means it's a dry day. It's not raining. It's not raining, Corey Simmons says, and that's exactly right. So uh, we can, though, zoom around on First Alert Doppler HD. It shows us where it's raining, where it's storming, as I mentioned. You can see us zoom in here. We can go to street level mapping. You can see all the streets that pop in there. We can zoom right into, say, for example, downtown Jacksonville, and you'll see markers uh, pop in there, streets, buildings, um, all kinds of different things that, um, that are landmarks that make it easy for us to identify where we are and where we're headed and where we're going. For example, here's TIAA Bank Field. You can see, you literally can see some of the seats in there. So it's easy for us to track storms that are moving near the JAG Stadium, if that ever happens, and certainly other neighborhoods all around Jacksonville, Duval County. Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia realize that we have a large viewing area and we get asked this a lot, but we give the forecast and have to give the forecast for people in Jacksonville, but also in St. Augustine and Palatka and Green Cove Springs and Stark and Rayford and Lake City and McClenny and Euling and Bernardina Beach, all the way up to 
Kingsland and Brunswick in Georgia to Waycross in Georgia and Blackshear to Folkestone. So we cover a pretty large area. We don't just talk about Jacksonville and one area. And if there's severe weather, that means we really have to expand things. So first alert Doppler HD really gives us a good idea of what's going on out there right now. It's so important for tracking storms. Where is it storming? Where are the storms moving? Not only shows us where it's raining and how much it's raining, but if there's wind in a storm, if there's a tornado, we can track hurricanes, really a critical part of forecasting. And here are some storms now, if we widen the view, that are moving through parts of Louisiana and Texas, but it gives you a good idea of what we're looking at when there's a stormy day. And now there are some warnings, storm warnings in effect. There's a tornado warning south of Houston, which means there's a really severe storm there. There's a severe thunderstorm warning in Louisiana. And you can see, we can look at these storms, zoom in on them, and, and even in other parts of the country, and get a really good view of what the storms are doing, how they're moving, and how heavy they are, even though they're not occurring right here in our own viewing area, our own home, our own backyard. All right, so let's head this way. And we'll be able to see what else we have. Every monitor in this studio that we have, we can put something in it and forecast the weather. So you'll see us move around in here a lot, uh, depending on the weather and how busy it is. Of course, we're headed into the hurricane season as we go through the summer and fall. So tracking the tropics is a popular one, of course. And let's hope we don't have to do much of that. But if we do, we certainly have it covered in the First Alert Weather Center. And speaking of storms, remember, we don't want you to be afraid of the weather. We don't want you to be scared of it. We just want you to know what to do. That's the most important thing. And that's what we do in the First Alert Weather Center is communicate to you in a calm but straightforward way exactly what we expect to have happen and what is occurring and what is happening. And then as long as you take the advice of what we're telling you and your parents, you stay calm. We'll be able to tell you all about it. You'll get through severe weather, no problem at all. But remember, severe weather, not only the big things that you hear about, hurricanes and tornadoes, but lightning. You never want to be outside during a lightning storm. You should always get inside. You never walk through flooded water or drive your bike through it. That sort of thing is an important safety rule, too. And if you're going outside on a sunny day, don't forget your sunscreen. All really simple but important rules to remember when it comes to the weather and you're going to be just fine. Here's another, the middle part of this really big mo uh, monitor that we have in the newsroom, in the um, studio. And this gives us another way to show our weather computers, other weather computers to give you the information on what's going on. We have touch screens too, like these right here that we can put our weather maps in to tell you all about the weather. And then the anchors, the news anchors, you'll see them interact with us sometimes, especially during the really busy weather. They sit right here in these chairs. This is the anchor desk. So you might see John Bachman take a Hughes, for example, and they will tell you all about the news. Now let's get back to the weather, right? The good stuff, the best stuff, right? The reason we're talking to you today, it's the green wall. This is famous. It's, it's what everybody talks about and sees. But it's really big. It is really big. It's it's goodness. I'm about six foot, about six foot, six foot one maybe. You can see my wingspan here, if you will, when I put my arms out, and I'm still not anywhere close to either side of the green wall. So it is a large wall, and that's all that's behind us when we deliver your forecast. A green wall. We don't see anything here behind us, even though it looks like we're kind of looking behind us at times. We're using these monitors to figure out where we want to look and where we want to point. So the monitors on either side help us tell us what we're going to tell you. And everything, by the way, is off the top of our head. We don't have anything in a prompter. We don't have anything in a script. And then we can also see ourselves in this camera right here. You can see what's also on the TV is in this monitor at the top. At the bottom is what the news anchors and the sports anchor use, a prompter. That's got the scripts with all the words in it. We don't use that in the First Cert Weather Center, our First Cert Weather Team. It's everything off the top of our head. We just tell you what the weather's going to do and what we are forecasting it to do in the coming days. Corey? And one thing to point out real quick, the lights are really bright. Yeah, it's true. TV studio lights are very bright. TV very studio bright. lights bright. There's a whole bunch of lights in here. We keep it very cool in here because of that. The air conditioning is typically set at about 65, so it doesn't get too hot in the studio. So I end on the Burris blog. You can find... Find our weather information all over the place, you guys, this day and age, of course, at actionnewsjacks.com online. You can download for free our First Alert weather app. I update every single week the Burris blog, and it's a variety of weather topics, typically, that might be on my mind and that I want to talk about. And starting with the hurricane season, every single day, talking the tropics with Mike, where I look at the, what's going on in the tropics and what might or might not be brewing. Let's hope it's might not and what's, how that's going to impact us right here at home in Jacksonville and Northeastern Florida. So there are plenty of ways for you to get the information about what's happening in the weather every single day right here at home and nearby. And the First Start Weather Team is all about giving you that information 
every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Corey, is there anything I've missed today? No, I think that's it. I think we've covered it pretty, pretty well. If you're interested in the weather, you want to be a meteorologist, and who doesn't, right? I mean, it's so cool. Uh, you want to study the math in science. There's so much great information out there and there are so many opportunities in the weather world besides what you see us do on the camera side, the television side of things. Again, it's all the weather all the time. I'm Action News Jax, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish from the CBS 47 and Fox 30. Action News Jax, First Alert Weather Center.